welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. We got an amazing video here today. We're going to react to my favorite YouTube grifter. Just kidding. I don't know. Caleb Hammer roasting the ever-living crap out of a rich, liberal, bimbo girl. And while I'm not a fan of Caleb Hammer, I think he's kind of boring, basically, I do love a good roast of bimbos. So let's see what Caleb Hammer has to say to this amazing chick, and I'm going to give you my thoughts. Yeah, reality in. sucks. Capitalism is bad. Oh my god, three seconds in. Oh my god, capitalism is bad. Now, my because I haven't watched this video, my first instinct is that this is staged. <laughs> I could be totally wrong, but the way she sp said that sentence, it's almost like it was rehearsed, and he was basically there, or they, they set that up so he could roast her. And make a big sound clip out of it. I could be totally freaking wrong, but I'm, I'm very uh, intuitive when it comes to these things. And I'm a little suspicious here, but let's keep going. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, really easy for someone to say that grew up in a really nice house in one of the best school districts in I Texas. I know, but it's... Ah! Who has the rent paid for? <laughs> ah! Nice, Caleb. That's very masculine of you. So, it is kind of true that some of the biggest socialist loser dorks are people that come from wealthy families. And they tend to be academics or people that went to high institutions of learning. Like all the corrupt institutions that we have in this insane country called the United States. And I think the reason that a lot of people that are rich are socialists is because it doesn't make sense on the surface. It's like, why? Why would you want to be a socialist if you were rich? Well, first of all, her parents make a bunch of money. Not her. Her parents, I'm assuming, had to potentially struggle and strive and outcompete others in a cutthroat world in order to become the financial successes that they are today. That's my assumption. Maybe they inherited their wealth. I don't freaking know. But it tends to be the case that the children, they, they have a sort of guilt complex. Okay, from the day they go to school, they go and they learn from these socialist female teachers. Schools are overran by socialist female teachers. Females tend to lead towards tend to lean towards socialism. It's kind of more in their nature, sharing and blah 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 blah. And it also has a kind of virtue signal to it. Now imagine if everybody was insanely rich. We were all super wealthy. It was an age of abundance. Would we all be happy? Or would we try to concoct ways to elevate our status in a group. I think human nature is always striving to achieve status. Everybody wants status because status equals power and success, basically. And if you're already rich, how do you achieve status? I mean, you're already rich. What are you going to do, get richer? Some guys do that in girls. But another way to signal status is to signal your conformity to the dominant ideology of your class. And people compete by how much they can virtue signal, how much they are in with the wokey wokes. That is how they compete because the financial battle is over. They're all rich. Like this girl, probably a rich girl. Oh my God. They're all rich. And the only way they can distinguish themselves is by doing these kind of like weird games where they try to outcompete each other and achieve status in this weird group by signaling diversity and hating social and loving socialism and hating capitalism. That's what I think it is. Okay. Because what else are you going to do with your life besides, you know, try to be as diverse as possible. What that is able to go to Europe and on a whim with their sister who's able to do girl math, who's able to be fun employed. Yeah, it's easy to say that the system's bad when you're doing that because you've never had to work for it. You never got to actually see what happens when you put in the work and get benefits and actually have a little bit of responsibility and actually build something or do anything you've grew up in privilege beyond privilege beyond privilege beyond privilege it's only the people who speak like you that grew up in a world where you've never had to do in a single thing in your life okay i i, I think this is staged <laughs> but let's assume that it's true okay i don't understand the parents that spoil their kids rotten once they achieve success and my plan as a parent, you know, I'm not, I'm not richy rich. My parents aren't richy rich. I mean, we were middle class, upper middle class. We weren't poor. 
I'm not gonna, oh, you know, the grits would say all their poverty stories. I, I didn't come from poverty. Came from middle class, upper middle class. But a lot of people, they achieve material success and status in the world. And instead of, instead of instilling those values in their children, because they know what it's like, they spoil them rotten. And as a father myself, if I ever become super successful and rich, grifting off YouTube and buying Tattooed Chef, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be even more brutal to my children than life was to me, okay? Not that brutal, but you get my point. You cannot spoil your children because it leads to their downfall. If you're not striving and struggling in your life, if you're not working towards a goal and you're just partying all the time, you're living a life of degeneracy and misery that will never make you happy. Life and happiness comes from overcoming struggles, which are unending in life. This girl, we assume, I guess, is an example of somebody that never really had to struggle besides, I don't know, Chad T rejecting her when all the, the Brads loved her. But she only wanted Chad. Oh my God, I'm so stressful. Chad chose us, Stacy. Life. So I don't want to hear about that. Okay, this seems really staged. Did you see her reaction? Oh my God. Da -da! Call the security guards. Maybe she gets to go to Europe. You know, I, I guess if you didn't have to earn it, yeah, you don't appreciate it. You really, I mean, it's true. I mean, it's pretty common sense. But that face she made seems kind of fake. What a joke. I'm sorry. I just wish everybody had like, but yeah, like you were saying. That I really wish good. a lot of things. Wishing doesn't get people places. You try to create the best systems possible. This doesn't matter. Oh my. If it's the best system possible, then why are there people I'm not who saying are this the is the, I'm, who are I'm, like, shut the f up. I'm not saying this. <laughs> oh my God. She's sputtering. <laughs> and oh, Mr. Alpha male here, Mr. Giga Chad is just shutting her down. That's a misogynist. I'm not gonna say the word, just probably get demonetized. The best system possible. I'm saying we don't do the, I wish this is how it all is. Yeah. You try to create the best systems possible to give people the opportunities to live the best lives. I'm not saying everything's perfect. I'm not saying this is the best system possible. I don't know. Everything's a f***ing hypothesis. It's. Yeah. But I... for. Okay, look, socialism really is evil. And the reason I say that is because it makes everybody mediocre. If you live in a socialist society, like the Soviet Union was socialist. It wasn't pure communist. It was socialist. Basically, the government controls everything. The government manages the means of production. And everybody gets health care. And everybody gets, you know, all the basic necessities of life. And you can survive and live in that society, right? You can live and you'll get through. And you'll, you'll make it from birth to death and the state will be there for you. But you'll never be great. You'll never be free. And in a lot of modern societies, they're not, it's a, they're hybrid societies. They're not socialists. They're not capitalists. The government is obviously a big part of a lot of people's lives in, in, in various countries around the world. But the problem is, is once you start to move your way up the ladder, let's say you have ambition and fire and you want to make something great. You don't, you don't want to just go to your stupid job every day and get your little crappy pension that's probably going to be a fraction of what they promised you you want to build something great you want to be somebody you want ambition you want to be free that ain't happening in a socialist society because as soon as you make a lot of money the tax rates are almost punitive they're cr they're so crushing so your incentive to be great is destroyed you you want to you want to build a business and be you know a, a, a sole owner of your own business corporation the government will crush you with taxes. They punish you after you make a certain amount of money. And yes, we have a progressive tax system in the United States, but guess what? It ain't like freaking Europe. And a lot of the taxes in Europe, the higher tax brackets start a lot lower, okay? You cannot be great in Europe. You never will be great in Europe because it holds you back. And it's even worse in a pure socialist society. It's basically, it's impossible, okay? So yeah, if you, if you like mediocrity, yes, yeah, socialism might be the thing for you. But if you want the, uh, the chance to be greater, to improve yourself, to build a life, a true free life, you need capitalism. For you to say that? 
is disgusting. Yeah, no, I know. I'm, 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 I'm a real hypocrite for that. But the people who you should be going after are the people in the top something percent that like hoard all the world's wealth. Like go after those people. Those people need to be taxed <laughs> and that money- Tax to the max? Yeah. What does that even look like to you? You probably don't even know what that looks like. What does that look like? How do you tax them to the max? I mean, most of the wealthy are, uh, their wealth is d d uh, derived from being the oh, a starter, like a founder of a highly successful business. She's talking about the billionaire. There's some people that have old money and they inherit it. And then there's new money, the people that start corporations, who I respect a hell of a lot more. And a way you could tax them is just to raise corporate taxes. I mean, because their wealth is derived from their stock valuations. And if you massively increase the tax rate of corporate corporate profits, <laughs> yeah, you could you could actually really reduce their wealth. That's the thing you could do. I don't freaking know. I don't know. I don't, that's not a good idea because we're global. It's a global world. We're competing for other countries for taxes for to be headquartered domesticated. So I mean, there, it's a lot more complex than that. But at the end of the day, socialism always creeps down. Look, look at Social Security. Look at Medicare. That's all socialism. That's all. Those are all socialist-minded policies, and they're toxic to the middle class. Payroll taxes are paid. They're paid by corporations, obviously. The half of it is, but the other half is paid by the workers. They lose seven something, seven point six five percent of their freaking incomes to these programs that are transfer programs that are basically Ponzi schemes. Socialism in the long run is very, very toxic. I'm not sure. I have somebody else. Oh, my interesting. This person's voting. Yes, I am. And I already I'm voting for Kamala. She's strong and independent. Oh my God, she's like a woman. Oh my God, person of color. I'm like, whoa. You know who I'm voting for. And you literally can't describe a tax. <laughs> <laughs> so what are y'all thinking? What are you guys thinking? Do you think this is staged? Honestly, like, just how she reacted and how she said things, it, it seems staged to me. But it's always good to, to roast a bimbo. And honestly, it's not even her fault at the end of the day. Her parents didn't you know, raise her properly to really survive in a brutal cutthroat world that we live in. They pampered her, spoiled her, so they're in a freaking Europa. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you, what do you think about this, uh, this, this set of cheeks?